Hector Garrido, the artist who brought G.I. Joe packaging art to life on toy aisle shelves, passed away on April 19, 2020, at the age of 92. Hector was born in Argentina in 1928. He studied art in Buenos Aires before emigrating to the United States, where his career began in the 1950s. His original artwork for G.I. Joe was featured on the 1980s era merchandise packaging. The gorgeous painted artwork could be seen on packaging for action figures and vehicles in stores all over the world. His art told a story and gave life to the toys before you ever opened them. I don't think anyone could say at least some of G.I. Joe's success in the 1980s and 90s was due to the incredible contribution by Garrido. In addition to G.I. Joe, he also painted the covers of numerous sci-fi, gothic romance, thriller, horror, and adventure books, including Rima Williams, Danny Dunn, Nancy Drew, and the Hardy Boys. Perhaps most notably in the horror genre, he painted the iconic covers for T.M. Wright's Strange Seed children's series. He was also a Time Magazine cover artist, and his 1969 cover, Astronauts, is in the permanent collection of the Smithsonian National Portrait Gallery. For much of his career, he also illustrated collector plates for the Bradford Exchange. His plate, Our Lady of Lords, sold over one million copies. Hector Garrido's very realistic style made a big impact on me as a kid, and it's still my favorite style of art. Some of Garrido's original artwork remains for sale on his Flickr page, which is maintained by a friend and 100% of the proceeds will go directly to his family. I highly recommend visiting 3djoes.com, where Carson Metaxas has painstakingly restored Mr. Garrido's art into books that are available for purchase. He also has posters available. I have this one on my wall at home. So obviously, I'm a huge fan of Mr. Garrido, and while he did have a full life, he lived into his 90s, it's still sad knowing we've lost this legend from the world of G.I. Joe.